If you notice that your G3 is not moving, chances are there's a slight tear in the diaphragm. If there's nothing stuck in there, I'll pull it out and we'll check it out. Okay, so there's no debris in there, so it's probably the diaphragm has a tear. This is really easy to change out. You just unscrew this nut here. It pulls out like that. You just unscrew this one right here. Pop out this part here. You get this to the diaphragm. And there it is. Now it looks good. I mean, I don't see any tears, but if you look really close, you'll see a tear right here next to the ring where it clips on. I'll pull it off to get a better look at it. And you can actually see the tear now. It's really small, but that's enough to stop the cleaner. Get the new diaphragm. We take the ring off the old one. We'll insert the ring onto the new one. And we're going to put it back on this white pipe. And that ring will hold it on. That's what it's for. And we'll stick it back here. We'll pull it through. Just make sure it's nice and snug. Screw this part back on. We're going to stick it right back into the cleaner and then tighten this nut right here. And that G3 is working fine. So that's how you change the diaphragm in a G3 cleaner by Zodiac.